Hey guys, if you're considering leaving California, don't miss this episode. Lacey and I hit the key points on what you should consider and know when buying in Las Vegas. So who are you seeing coming here? Are they 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50? Mm -hmm. It's a bit, a bit of a mixed bag. It's funny. I've seen the, the evolution, though, just in the last two or three years. A lot of small families, uh, for young families, I should say. So people who are just starting their family, people who have one child that's under the age of five, one or two children under the age of five. And that's what's so inspiring is a lot of them are coming from areas that, where they've never even thought to buy a home because they couldn't afford it. And now they're coming here with their eyes as big as saucers walking into the city going, I can't believe this is going to be ours. I can't believe we get to choose the flooring or we get to do this or that. It's just really amazing. But mostly young families and then we also on the other side get the the people who are retirees who want to come here and where they come five times a year already I love when I speak to people who say can you even raise a family there what's it like raising a family there oh it's not that kid friendly and I love to prove them wrong because I was raised here I mean I've been here since I was nine and I've successfully raised four kids at this point well I'm still raising them but you sure. know they never really grow up but um, <laughs> but the city's amazing you know my son's a part of a city pro city developed and funded uh, theater program mm -hmm. my daughter's a dancer she went to a special performing arts high school downtown our two younger boys play t-ball football uh, basketball and they're also involved in Cub Scouts so we're just like every other city we have parks we have amazing amazing stuff off the strip for kids to do and programming that again adds culture that people wouldn't know about otherwise. I love when I bring you know the opposite of what I just mentioned. I love when I bring someone who doesn't have kids, doesn't want kids, not sure they, they're ever going to have that be a thing, but they do like the outdoors. They do want parks nearby. They do want to be able to walk their dogs and have a safe environment and a really fun environment. And so I'm thinking what I'm really enjoying about what the builders are doing, especially with like a master plan community like what we're in right now, Sky Canyon, is they're building a community center, they're building a park, they're, they're building all the amenities that you you would want but then they're really customizing the events that they do on an annual or on a monthly basis pardon me for the homeowners so one night might be ladies night wine night another night is bring the kids out and do easter egg painting or whatever mm -hmm. so they're really catering to both sides there's not really one area or another in town that, that's specific to kid-friendly. The entire city is very kid-friendly, believe it or not. I know Vegas and kids don't really mix in your brain, but we have more parks than I think a lot of the cities throughout the nation. We have a lot, of, a lot more green, a lot more um, you know, of the community centers that offer these amazing classes and things like that. A lot more culture than people realize. You just have to, just have to look for it. It's really interesting. There's, there's these patterns of people leaving the Bay Area and they're, they're chasing the grandkids. Yep. So there's a lot of people right now leaving and they're headed to the boys Boise, Idaho area right and we're tracking it and we're realizing it's about three visits mm -hmm. in one year from the first time they go until the time they actually sell their house mm -hmm. and actually move and go all in are you seeing patterns like that here yeah I, I think that's pretty accurate for what we're seeing here um, for those for those types of people who aren't quite sure but I have a tendency to have people contact me who have already done a ton of research. Um, it's, a, it's a mixed bag. I'd say it's about 30% of the people aren't quite sure. So those are the ones that will do that. We're going to come in a few months. Can you show us around? Then we're going to come back and then we're going to make the final decision. But I get like 70% of the people that call me are calling me because they've watched all my videos, they've looked at the content online, they've done their research, they're applying for jobs or they've already got a job or whatever their reasoning is and they're ready to go and sometimes they only give themselves one weekend to find a house. That is crazy. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> we, we were talking about that earlier today that people will spend, they spend all this money mm -hmm. on this purchase yep. and they spend very little time. They spend more time shopping for shoes yeah, oh yeah. And, and versus shopping for a house. And I've joked about that a little bit with a couple of my clients and I've, I've actually been able to squeeze an additional trip out of them just because, not for me, it doesn't benefit me. I just, I just get very concerned about the fact that I don't want anybody to rush into it, especially relocating to a new city. Yes, I do a great job of showing you around. Yes, I'm gonna talk to you about the amenities and of each area and I'm gonna try to align it with your lifestyle, but you know, this is the largest purchase of someone's life most of the time. And you know, you just I just want to make sure that they're really doing the due diligence of taking their time. To buy in Las Vegas correctly, what should people do time-wise? I mean, what should you allow to, to do it right? So if you're going to land in Vegas and we've already got some time booked on the calendar, I always say you want a minimum of three days, but ideally five. And the reason is, is, you know, the first day is going to be a city tour, right? We'll drive around. I'll show you the neighborhoods, make sure you get to know. You personally do the city I tours, I personally right? do the city tour. Love Me it. and I'm my team members. Yeah, Love we call it. it our three hour tour <laughs> and, um, and it really is three hours. And that's because we, we very detailed go through each and every neighborhood and let them see what houses look and feel like. We let them see how close together or far apart they are. We let them see what the, what the climate feels like on one side of town versus another, what amenities are there, et cetera. So, 
We start with a three hour tour. From that, we try to whittle it down to neighborhoods that might be of interest. We start to look at homes that might be available in the, so it's all about the you know, process of elimination. So we're eliminating the ones that don't work and focusing on the ones that do. And then by the time you know, you're at day three, we're hopefully looking at homes. Uh, and by day five, you have at least written an offer or maybe are in escrow if you, if you got lucky on the first one. And then we can start the process and you can get on the plane and go home with the peace of mind that you have somebody here watching your back and going through the process to get it rolling. And the people that do that, those are both the ones that have spent, then there are their research, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. As well as the ones that say, nope, it's impulse, I know this is it, and yeah. that you can still make them feel great at the end of the process. I, that's my goal, you know. I, I, ideally, we would prefer that you come out for, for one trip, couple, three days, and we do the tour, you guys enjoy Vegas, you lean into it, you drive around on your own, and that's your first trip. From that trip, we do a follow-up call. Hey, how did you like Vegas? What did you think? What did you think of the tour? Here's the areas we really loved. Great, let's set you up on a drip so you guys can find out what homes are available. Then for the next tour, we have homes that they've already favorited. We've already done the research. We've already maybe done a few video tours on their behalf so they can see and eliminate from there. So that final trip when they come back, that second trip, we're able to make some big decisions, go look at homes and really start writing offers. That's our ideal situation. Vegas has a little bit of a reputation for all sorts of things. Sure. But I know I've had clients ask, how safe is Vegas? It's a valid question for sure. We are just like any other major metropolitan city. You know, we have crime just like everyone in the great neighborhoods and the expensive neighborhoods sure. and of course down on the strip. My best advice to anybody who's concerned about that is do your research. You know, our, our uh, Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department and the Henderson Police Department and the North Las Vegas uh, Police Department, they all have websites where you can go online and look at the area maps of crime and just really get an idea of the areas that you might want to look into and where the concentration of crime might be, might be happening. Um, if you have a great realtor, they're going to let you know, you know, like I do with my clients. Like, you know, I can't talk about crime specifically, so I want you to do your research. But in these general areas, you know, it's a standard, normal way of living, so you shouldn't have to con be concerned. I, I love that whole research aspect because I recommend to my clients that are mm -hmm. coming, I say, go join the Facebook groups. Yeah. Join those local Facebook groups, see yep. what they're talking about, kind of get a, you can, you can, you can learn a lot from Absolutely. those groups. Also, I had some clients and I thought was really smart. They would go on and watch the local news well, of that city. Yeah. They'd go on the internet and watch, the, they moved to Las Vegas. Yeah. They watched Las Vegas news, just the morning news because they yeah. talk about the stuff that happened the night before. Yes, they do. Really smart stuff. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Leaving California with Las Vegas realtor Lacey Cerrone. If you have any ideas, tips, or suggestions, let me know.